I know some of you guys are out there contemplating moving to New Orleans, or maybe you just want to come and visit. Either way, I just wanted to make sure that you had all the information you need to make an informed decision to come here. So I have outlined top 10 reasons why New Orleans is a great place for you to visit and live. Number 10, transportation. New Orleans is a very easy city to navigate. No cars needed here, guys. We have so many different types of public transportation that other cities may not have. New Orleans is home to the historic streetcars, which are an extremely charming way to casually and leisurely explore the city. Many locals rely on the streetcars to commute to work because they are relatively inexpensive, as opposed to having to pay for gas and exorbitant parking prices downtown. One way, y'all, is $1.25. The streetcars can take you from St. Charles Avenue, Canal Street, to the iconic cemeteries, to City Park, to the New Orleans Museum of Art, New Orleans Riverfront. Normally, most of the streetcars run practically 24 hours a day, but you want to make sure you check the uh, alerts before you travel. Buses. We have the Regional Transit Authority, RTA, which has almost 40 routes. Many normally run in 24 hours a day through practically every neighborhood in the city from uptown to downtown from Lakeview to the Lower Ninth Ward mid-city across the river it's only a dollar 25 one way there are also neighboring transit systems Jefferson Parish has the Jefferson Transit or JET and St. Bernard Parish has the Rapid Urban Transit or ESPER which are also public transit systems but they're completely independent of the RTA the beauty of this though is that riders can transfer seamlessly from RTA RTA to JET to Esbert and vice versa without any hassles whatsoever. But just know that the RTA, JET, and Esbert all have separate fare and pass options that are not transferable from one to the other. Now, my favorite is the ferries. We have ferries that have traveled across the Mississippi River since 1827, y'all. You can just drive your car right onto the ferry and cross the Mississippi without having to worry about that bridge traffic. And if you're a water fanatic like I am, this is a wonderful option to escape the hustle and bustle of rush hour traffic by enjoying the water, taking in the scenery and letting somebody else do the driving for just $2. The ferries run tentatively every 15 minutes, seven days a week. And as of this recording, the Algiers Point Canal Street Ferry operates from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Lower Algiers Chalmette Ferry operates from 6 a.m. to about 5 p.m. daily. But again, check the schedules. They may be subject to change. Bikes. Obviously, you may bike anywhere in the city, you know, anywhere your legs can manage to take you, but did you know that you can ride and bike on the RTA? Yes. All RTA standard buses are equipped with bike racks on the front so that customers can ride, you know, you can ride your bike to the closest bus stop, put your bike on the front, hop on the bus, transport all around town at no additional fee. The bikes ride free, y'all. But it is on a first come first serve basis. And I believe that it's two bikes per bus. Now the streetcars don't have bike racks, but you are welcome to bring a properly folded folding bike on board. And then bikes, of course, are always welcome on the ferries at any time. Just be sure you secure them at a properly designated bike rack on board. Paratransit. Now, what most people don't know or may not know is that RTA also has a paratransit service. This option is a shared ride service designated to help customers who, due to either a disability or a disabling health condition, and they're unable to ride RTA's regular transit services, they can ride the paratransit services. Next, we have licensed pedicabs for those trips that just aren't quite far enough to be bothered with hailing a cab, yet just a little too far to walk. This is an environmentally friendly way to see the city. And I don't understand how they can do all that pedaling, but they do. The city is also accessible by Uber, Lyft, taxis, and limousines. And last but not least, there's always walking. If you're staying in the French Quarter, uh, downtown, or in the Arts and Warehouse districts, you won't need to hire transportation of any kind. You are able to walk to all your destinations, no problem. So as you can see, you can pretty much go anywhere you want in the city without owning a vehicle. Night. Nightlife. What can I say? Talk about a city that never sleeps. New York and Las Vegas ain't got nothing on New Orleans. New Orleans nightlife is unmatched, y'all. We have jazz, and music clubs, we have Bourbon Street, we have Frenchman Street, we have casinos, we have burlesque and cabaret clubs, LGBTQ bars, dance clubs, uh, including Cajun dance, y'all. 
late night restaurants, sports bars, and night tours. There is just no shortage of things to do in New Orleans at night from sundown to sunup, back to sundown. So prepare to go out and stay out all night long because this city does not shut down at 2 a.m. Number eight, higher education. New Orleans is home to some of the top colleges and universities in the country. Okay, we have Loyola, which is where I went. We have Tulane, Dillard, Xavier, University of New Orleans, Southern University of New Orleans. We got Holy Cross. We have Louisiana State University School of Medicine. So there's no shortage of higher education here. Number seven, architecture. New Orleans has a vast number of historic architectural buildings constructed over more than 300 years. New Orleans has more than 20 National Register historic districts. We have 15 local historic districts, and we have numerous local and national landmark buildings. Almost half of all the buildings in New Orleans were built before World War II, with the earliest dating from the 18th century. Uh, this city has some of the most diverse architectural styles and types of buildings that you have ever seen unrivaled by any others in the nation. We have Creole cottages, we got townhouses, we got shotguns, bungalows, Greek, Greek revivals, Queen Anne's, colonial revivals, neoclassical, Edwardian, arts and crafts, eclectics, and more. Six, the cost of living. The cost of living in New Orleans is cheaper than 71% of all cities in the United States, with an estimated monthly expenses for a family of four of about $4,000. A single person is around $2,100 can't beat that. Number five, the music. Music in New Orleans, that's our beating heart. It's our lifeblood. New Orleans is the birthplace of jazz. And uh, we have music greats like Louis Armstrong, Fat Domino, Harry Connick Jr., Kermit Ruffin, the Neville Brothers, Irma Thomas, Dave Bartholomew, Trombone Shorty, Big Frida. I can go on and on and on. Live music is everywhere. Number four, Mardi Gras. For most people, Mardi Gras in New Orleans is the bee's knees, y'all. <laughs> the name Mardi Gras literally means Fat Tuesday, a day where you are allowed to gorge yourself stupid on all the decadence. Mardi Gras season always begins on January 6th, which is 12th night. That's the end of the Christmas season. And it culminates on Fat Tuesday, which varies from year to year because the date is determined by Easter and Ash Wednesday, which is the start of the Lenten season. Mardi Gras falls on Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. So if y'all come and you need to book early and book now, I hope to see you here. Mardi Gras has many traditions, but my favorite is the king cake. The name King Cake is derived from the story of the three kings in the Bible. They brought gifts to the baby Jesus. King Cakes, uh, they resemble cinnamon rolls, but typically they're a blend of coffee cake and cinnamon rolls, you know, covered with Mardi Gras colored icing, which is green, yellow, and purple. They can be filled with fruit or cream cheese, or you can just eat them plain. They're good either way. But hidden inside is a special surprise. There's a plastic baby in there that leads to never ending fun because the person that finds that baby has to bring the next king cake or they have to throw the next party. Speaking of parties, number three, festivals. New Orleans has over 130 festivals a year. So there is something for anyone and everyone to celebrate here y'all every week every week we have art festivals movie festivals food and drink festivals we got film theater and literary festivals multicultural festivals lgbtq festivals we have festival for good causes we have it all number two food and drink yeah i said drink new orleans food is off the chain we have the best on the planet it doesn't matter whether you like seafood or pasta or burgers, desserts, we got it all. Incredible. It's all incredible. Be cautious because you will gain weight if you're not careful. I gained 21 pounds my first month here. So if you're just on vacation, come here, have fun. Don't worry about the weight. You'll lose it later. But if you're here to stay, you got to be careful. <laughs> now the drinks. There's an internet meme that says uh, something like, are we having drinks or are we having drinks? Because I need to dress accordingly. <laughs> if you are a friend of the drink, 
New Orleans does not disappoint. This is the only place I know that you can walk around down the street with alcohol, guys. The city allows you, anyone, to carry an open container of alcohol in the French Quarter, on the public streets, sidewalks, parks, or public rights of way, no problem. As long as it's not in a glass container. A plastic go cup or a plastic bottle is perfectly fine. Notice I said you may walk with alcohol because open containers in vehicles, no, no. You cannot drink and drive, no. You can't even drink and ride because open containers uh, are prohibited for passengers as well, okay? Yet ironically, we have many drive through daiquiri shops. Go figure, I don't know. Number one, the culture. The greatest aspect of New Orleans culture is the people. I have never seen people so friendly and eager to help strangers as the folk down here in New Orleans. New Orleans has the most down to earth, speak your mind, give the shirt off their back, share their last meal with you type of people on the planet. When you come down here, be prepared to be loved on and fed to death because we got you, baby. We got you. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of valuable and insightful information from this video. If you did, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Listen, and please share it. If you know anyone or someone that might be uh, thinking about moving to New Orleans and you think that they would find this useful, please, by all means, share the video with them as well. Also, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'll answer every single one of them, I promise. And if you are looking to move to New Orleans, call me, text me, email me, DM me. I would be honored to help you call New Orleans your home. I love y'all. See you next time. Bye.